Hi, for those of you who don't know me, I am Kat Shea, and I work with actors, and I direct movies. Um, I want to talk today with you about reframing the whole audition process, and realizing that if you go on, a, on an audition and you don't get the part, it is not rejection, it is building relationships. So an actor's job is to audition. This is your job. So actors need to stop viewing the audition as a test that you have to pass and if you aren't hired you've been rejected. Okay? Um, it's really a wrong way of thinking. It's often that I can't hire the actor who is absolutely the best who came in the room. Now why is that? Well, um, perhaps they were too tall. Um, maybe they look too much like the lead actor. Maybe they don't look enough like the lead actor and they're supposed to be related to them. Maybe they're the wrong color. Maybe they're the wrong sex. Maybe it, it could be anything. And then you ask yourself, okay, well, why did the casting director bring me in if I'm too tall or don't look enough like the lead actor? The casting person is giving us choices. And this is to your benefit because suddenly you don't have to pay to be in front of people that can hire you. You are there and you are being respected as an actor. So come in strong like this is your job. Um, you have to understand that a director is casting an entire ensemble and film, TV, everything, it's a visual medium. Um, so, and when it's viewed, it is reduced down to its images, and you are one of them. Now, it's not just that, of course. Great performances are incredibly important, but the visual aspect of it is everything in casting, too. Um, so, those are the things you can't control. But if you go in and you do your very best, and you deliver a memorable character, you're building relationships. Um, you're making the casting director look good. Uh, directors like me remember you forever. I remember the actors who come in and they just do a killer, kick-ass job, and I can't hire them. Believe me, I remember those actors for 20 years or more. And sometimes I even ask to have them come back from 20 years ago. I said, what was that person doing? Do you remember them? They did a fantastic job. Um, I can only hire one person. And it's just so important to have a good attitude about that. To go in, you did your job, leave it there. Go in, do it, let it go. I've gotten letters from actors who I really liked who didn't get the part and were angry at me and it did not make me want to work with them again. So, um, you know, just if you can reframe your thinking to really see auditioning as your job um, and to let it be complete once you walk out the door, not hang on to it, not do any of that woo-woo stuff of trying to create something, just letting it go that makes you seem like a healthy person and a strong person and the type of actor that we all want to work with.